everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Manya and currently I am in Germany and today I'm going to go to pretty much my favorite thrift store here in town. I've taken you to this thrift store I think already like three to four times. The last time was during Christmas when I was shopping for home decor so I haven't been here since December. Since the lockdown now you can make appointments for 30 minutes. That's what I did because Monday actually we're gonna go in complete lockdown again so this is probably the last time going here before I leave Germany I'm pretty sure I'll be back in the future so let's go inside I have my thrift wish list with me on my phone so I'm looking for very specific things but yeah knowing me I'm probably gonna pick up all kinds of random stuff at the store they actually have an employee stand next to you while you're shopping to make sure you really really only stay for 30 minutes and I did not know this before Hier ist Ihr Hallo. Ich guck mich mal um. Ähm, ich guck ein bisschen Vasen vielleicht oder so Porzellan. Ich suche mal für eine Freundin von mir nach Vasen und äh, Schüsseln. Ich, äh, ja. Ja, genau. Ja, that was a little bit awkward, but the guy didn't seem to be particularly thrilled about following me around the store either. This stunning blue vase was an opaline Italian glass vase but they were asking 50 euros, yes 5-0 for it and that's the most expensive vase I've ever seen there at that store. You know I went for the brown vase straight away but this was even a little bit too brown for me. I really, really love these last bowls. They would be perfect for eating dessert, but my goodness, four euros a pop, I just couldn't because the whole set would have been quite pricey. And there it is, my Botanica butter dish. They were asking 30 euros for it, but I'm on a mission to find it for less. I will someday, and if it's going to take me years. I also quickly checked the price of the coffee pot because I do own this one and they were asking 20 euros for it which made me feel real great because I paid around 1 euro for mine. I spotted another solid floor vase. I recently got a similar one for free, but this one is so pretty with a red and green. Now I just need to decide which one I'll sell and which one I'll keep for myself. They had so much pretty colored glass there. I'm slowly starting to warm up to colored glass, so maybe I'll incorporate a few things here and there in my new home. Maybe. This one was also cute and you know I like my speckles, but I only wanted to pick up really unique items or things from my thrift wish list. This candle holder got me so excited and when I saw they were asking only 99 cents for this I got even more excited and obviously I picked it up. They had a few more candle holders. This one I didn't really like the color combo of and there was this other one that was so pretty with the pastels but it had a couple of chips around the edge. This vase was so cool and if I knew I could give it a place in our new home for certain, I would have picked it up for sure but I couldn't because at that point I didn't know what our house would be looking like. Now we actually do have a house but anyway, who knows, maybe it's still gonna be there in a few months when I return. Ten 
ones look so interesting to me. Do you think they were spoon rests? I'm not really sure what their purpose is, but they were pretty cool and they were, I think, only 99 cents. Here you get a little glimpse of my salesperson who was waiting for me. Um, hi there. This lamp base was so cool. I was so sad I had to leave it behind. They were only asking 15 euros for it too. It's the next day. It's Saturday and yesterday I was in Germany and today I am in the Netherlands because we're here because of our moving business as per usual. And I actually thought that I would be going to a new store and I didn't realize that I actually know this store very well, but they just changed the name and I didn't realize it when I was booking the appointment. I have 30 minutes. Today I hope that there is no person watching every move I make and I hope I can get some better and more footage of what I find. I have been going here in the past mostly to buy clothing to resell because that's what I did when I still lived here. And today I'm all gonna go for the home decor. Not sure if I'm gonna have time for clothing because I remember that this store is quite big they have a lot of stuff it's very interesting this used to be a dairy factory so the interior is quite interesting and pretty cool so let's go about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where I'm still looking for my soup bowl set and the mashing terrine and no luck today. And here are even more Frisian ceramics. I've told you they are in every single Dutch thrift store. Distractions will get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. At this point, I hadn't really been finding anything that I felt like was worth picking up because I felt like things were not really super special, just like the generic things you pretty much find at every thrift store. almost got this little container with a lid and the two matching bowls with the fish on them. I did end up putting them back though because we just have so much stuff we have to transfer from one country to the other so yeah. They also had quite some colored glass but nothing really that stood out to me. I do have to say though their prices were killer. Most of the things were 2 euros and under. I also almost got this glass bowl, but I don't really have a use for it. And at the time of me thrifting, as I already said, we didn't have a house yet, so I also wasn't sure. Be free with me. This shelf looked quite promising, and I finally found something I loved, and what else could it have been but a 1970s vase? This Italian vase was also somewhat interesting, but I wasn't really digging the rooster, so I didn't get it. You know, I love my West Germany planters this one as well but it did have a few too many chips for my liking look i even found the matching fish plates later on still didn't get the set yeah. After venturing around a little more, I ended up finding a whole other section with ceramics and pottery. It looked very promising.
we just sing along they had quite a few really large blue and white vases you know the netherlands are your place to be if you're into blue and white porcelain this bowl was really pretty and now i kind of wish i had picked it up as an extra fruit bowl i don't know who knows maybe it's still gonna be there next time i'll come Lots of items had colored dots instead of a price, and I think this blue one meant that the item was only one euro. I like this face, was just a little bit too small. How much I love you, I put your favorite song on, just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feeling just love. I'm still looking for a specific style of floral vase from Gouda or Gouda as you'd say in English. I didn't find it this time unfortunately, but I'll keep on looking and I know someday I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna be really happy. This would have made another nice little fruit bowl or a catch-all, but I was just not vibing with most items that day. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm back home even though this home is only going to be my home for about three to two more weeks. A little disclaimer, this might be the last video that you're gonna see of me for a few weeks because we're moving from Germany back to the Netherlands. We have a lot of things to take care of, so I'm not really sure if I can post videos. I do edit on our big computer. I do not have an editing laptop, so that's actually gonna go into storage for a few weeks until we are um, completely prepared to be moving into our new house. So. We'll see how that's all gonna work out. The first thing I found at the store was a ton of candles. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that I love greens, you know that I love mustards. And I found a swirl candle. This one was only like 20 cents. So that was really cool. And these are just gonna fit perfectly into my home decor, so happy about these. These were all like between 20 to 30 cents a piece. I've been looking for candle holders and also candelabra, which I haven't found that one yet, but I got this really nice candle holder. I love the pattern on it. This is definitely more of a dark color, very neutral. Um, this very dark gray, light gray, and this brown stripe. But I have tried it out and I think that like those mustard candles look really good in it, especially because of this brown stripe. I think it really complements each other. I'm not sure why they only priced this at 99 cents, but I'll take it. There's been this vase that I've been seeing, I think the last time I was there already in December, and then already in November, and I was always like, are you gonna pick it up, Manya, or not? And then I never picked it up, and I said to myself, okay, when you go back after lockdown, which, fun fact, we're in lockdown again, so everything is closed, no more appointments, That that's Germany. If you see it still after lockdown, you're gonna get it. And it was still there, and it is this black vase, and I usually do not pick up a lot of black, but I love the floral pattern on it. It is matte, except the florals and the leaves are a little bit of a shiny glaze. It is marked, it's already signed, but it's just signed MR with a 200. So I haven't been able to find out anything about the maker, but I think that that's pretty cool. And if you put these next to each other, that would look so good. Even though I'm still not 100% sure I'm gonna keep this or if it's gonna go into my shop at some point, but I do really like it. Something that I know is gonna go into my shop in the future when it's gonna reopen are those two candle holders. They are mouth blown. They're, well, they do not have a Murano sticker on them. They're definitely Murano style. And you can see that they're mouth blown by looking on the kind of bottom and you have those little rings and rims so you know that they have the stick poked in there that they kind of used to like blow the glass with. And also 
you can see that they're handmade because the swirls are somewhat different and they also have a little bit of a different color. This one's a little bit deeper, this one's a tiny bit lighter. And the last thing that I picked up from the first store in Germany is this one. If you saw my video about me picking up a ton of stuff for free, you might recognize this style vase. It's called a Solifleur vase because it's only good for one single flower. And this one actually does have the sticker on it. It's by Valta and actually they, oh. That was my next door neighbor. She's the sweetest lady, she's 90 and she's gonna go to a nursing home. So she just wanted to say goodbye. That was so sweet. And I also had to say goodbye to her because she didn't know we were moving. So yeah. Let's talk about this vase. Um, this is by Walter, Walter. And they actually made a lot of the Solly Floor vases Back in the day, they were known for a lot of crystal uh, wear, like um, lead crystal vases, that kind of stuff. I like this one a lot because it has this really cool red and green design on it. And if you have it on a windowsill, for example, the sun shines through it, it just looks so nice. Now moving on to what I found in the Netherlands. It's like a lot, but then not a lot because I actually got a whole set of dishes. And what I got is a set which is actually made in USA, which you do not find a lot in uh, Germany or the Netherlands, but it is by Anchor Hocking and it is the Fire King set. And these are sets of dishes made of milk glass and then they have this luster, so it's also called lusterware, peach shiny overlay. And usually that's not what I pick up, but I thought, I thought it was just so cute. I only have four in my hand, but I actually got six of these little cute cups. They definitely look like they're for espresso, espresso shots, but I have two different types, so I'm not really sure. Then I also got six of these little cute mugs, and they have this kind of, I don't know what you call it, feels roughly, no, it's not roughly, in German you say, I'm gonna pop the English word right here, like, I'm, I don't know. And for all of those, I have the matching saucers. And I also have a set of six of those larger coffee cups. Actually one of them had like this big piece broken out and was glued back into it. I only saw that when I came home but that's okay. And then for those six cups I also have the matching six saucer. The set also included this really cool serving plate. I mean, look at the shine. It's so nice. This would be so nice for Easter and I mean as I'm filming this Easter is this coming weekend so Nobody's gonna use it for Easter, it's just gonna be sitting in a box, but generally this is just so nice also for during the summertime. I just like those peachy pastel colors. And the last piece that I picked up of this, this set, I have a few more things to show you, is this little coffee pot or teapot or whatever. But there is something a little bit weird about it. Um, this one is actually marked differently. It is marked Anchor Hawking and it says Oven Proof. It has the same little symbol but then it says West Germany and this is not milk glass this is ceramic so this is pottery so that's kind of weird I've been trying to find out something about it so far I haven't it definitely does belong to the set um yeah I don't know I also got this vase and this is a Murano style vase it's mouth blown and it's kind of swirly so not the actual um pattern in it but the vase in itself the pattern is a little bit swirled and I thought that was really nice looking and it has those speckles here on the bottom and they kind of fade out as they go to the top and has this kind of trumpet flute shape and then I also found uh, this vase this definitely is a 1970s vase it is marked and it kind of looks like it's marked with a WL and it is this olive colored speckled vase and it has this blue little accent on the inside and when I came home I saw that there's a tiny chip but it's so so, so tiny, it's like a millimeter, so it's really small, but I still like this a lot. So I do not regret getting it. And for a while I was walking around the store and I only had this vase. And I thought, shoot, I just drove for 30 minutes just for this one vase. There has to be something else. So I'm so happy that I found those dishes and the other vase as well. If you like these videos, make sure to check out these ones here on the side because I have a lot more videos about thrifting and thrift with me's. And there's going to be a lot more in the future. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.